Emergencies of any kind are unpredictable. Northwestern has many safety policies in place to deal with critical situations. Northwestern police go through extensive training to prepare for the possibility of active violence, and a crisis management team is in place to manage critical incidents. But even with our safeguards in place, knowing how to respond can make all the difference. Preparing for an emergency before one occurs makes you much more likely to be able to protect yourself and respond appropriately. It's important to pay attention to where you are and think through what you could do if a threat appears. If you find yourself in an active violence threat situation, you'll have to quickly decide to run, hide, or fight. Wait, look at this. It's super weird. Yeah. I don't know, that's like, that's weird. Gunshots, don't wait until others tell you to act. If it's safe to run, run. Always know your surroundings and have escape routes in mind, including exit stairwells and emergency exits. Call 911 or university police as soon as it's safe to do so. Be sure to provide your exact location. Northwestern University Police Department. Officer Crosby, I can help you. There's a shooter outside of the Jacob Center. The Jacob Center. Outside the Jacob Center, can you tell me what he's wearing? He's wearing a black shirt and dark jeans. Okay, get some more safe. I have officers in route. Thank you. Wait. Wait. There's an active shooter. No, 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 Monitor your phone closely. Only pay attention to official Northwestern and University Police notifications. Ignore any other messages like texts, phone calls, and social media for any other sources. Do not share any information or photos of your location on social media. Those are gunshots. Come on, we have to lock the door, barricade it. Yeah, belt the door, please. If it's not safe to run, your best option is to hide in place. Lock or use items to barricade the door and turn off the lights. Get up against the wall. Spread out. Do not huddle together, because it makes for one easy target. Put your cell phone on silent, but call 911 and keep your voice down to avoid being heard. God, there's a shooter on campus. Hey man, can I get your hand? Yes, yes. If you receive a notification that says shelter in place, this means to seek shelter in the building you are currently in. Get down, get down. Remember to lock or barricade the door, silence your cell phones, and turn off the lights. Then remain there until further notice. Shooter in the building. What is a shooter in the building? What? If you cannot run or hide, your best option is to fight. Fighting is a last resort when your life is in imminent danger. Come on, get against the wall. Assume a survival mindset and know that often violent situations are over in a few minutes. Look for anything you can use as, as a weapon, um, a textbook, fire extinguisher, anything you can use to distract or take down the assailant. Kevin, I'll distract him. You hit him. Develop a plan with others to take out a potential shooter. Be decisive and commit to action. Focus on distracting and immobilizing the shooter. Do not stop attacking until the aggressor is no longer a threat. Once the aggressor has been secured, do not touch any weapons or objects they might have carried. Instead, secure the weapons with nearby objects. Um, hey, give me that trash can. And wait for authorities to arrive. In this situation, 
where the suspect is still at large. The police will implement a rapid deployment response. Our only priority is to locate, identify, and eliminate the threat. 210 and 220 response to the Jacob Center for a report of a man with a gun firing at people. He has a black shirt and dark jeans. Door right, door right. All the way left, all the way left. When the police arrive, we may not know who the shooter is. If you're able to do so, put your hands on top of your head so we know you're not the threat. Your hands behind your head. Drop to your knees. Put your hands out to your sides. Call them up. Bruce, you got hands. I got covered. In an active violence situation, you'll have to decide quickly to run, hide, or fight. Your safety depends on this choice and being prepared before an incident occurs. Remember. The responding officer's first goal is to eliminate the threat. We may pass injured people, but our first priority is preventing additional injuries. Our second priority is attending to any injured parties. Even at a place like Northwestern, we're not immune to violence. Preparation and prevention are key to protecting our campus. Thank you. Research shows that there are typically signs that someone was planning to attack before it happens. If you see concerning behavior, threats, aggression, or anything suspicious, it is critical that you report it. Campus safety is a shared responsibility. If you see something, you're expected to say something. Northwestern's Behavioral Consultation Team relies on information from our community to help keep us safe. Non-emergency concerns regarding threatening statements or behaviors can be reported by contacting the Director of Threat Assessment or making an anonymous report online to Wildcats Aware concerning behavior report. At Northwestern, nothing is more important than the safety of our community. There are many people working to prevent active violence on our campus. Northwestern Police, the Behavioral Consultation Team, Emergency Management, and most importantly, you.